Greetings and salutations everyone and welcome back to Pacific Drive where we've just arrived back from a long tour into the zone um, we've we went to D1 via G1, G3 and D2 and yeah um, at D1 we checked out three visions as Tobias and Francis called them three murals uh, basically um, which were painted with a remnant paint can or with a remnant can of paint um, Tobias and Francis told us the story of that um, of that artist who painted those murals uh, these murals um, combined um, apparently lead to this location or indicate a um, a location in this area where Francis Tobias and Oppie as well want us to go next so um, I've uh, I went ahead and did all the housekeeping as per usual and now let's check out what the fax machine is beeping Newsflash, Port Angeles, June 1st, 1968. Can you sum it up in a word? No, a sound? Wow! 6673. Okay. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's uh, store these um, reports. And oh, yeah, we um, found a side battery. It's a special item, so I'm. And since we don't need the side battery, um, due to the fact that we have our beautiful backseat battery right beside our beautiful backseat fuel tank, um, yeah, I thought let's try and see if these give us anything when we recycle them. Okay. I guess that this answers that question. Well, but what definitely will give us some some resources is are these dumpster piles? Oh, okay. Let's do a vacuum action again. Don't want to hunt after every little piece of resource. Okay. Anything in here? No. Good. Ooh. A flames decal kit. Now, that's something we haven't seen before. That's quite interesting. Um, but first, let's store some of these resources. Do I have room for those flares somewhere? Let's do like so. Um. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hmm, flame decal. Hmm. Um, let's uh, focus on on those um, new items we've got. Um, nope. R. So we've got a new bartender bobble hat, and we've got a powered by carbs gear shifter. So let's check those out. The button. Okay. <laughs> it's a cat bubble hat. Okay. Mm. Wasn't it a gear shifter? Oh no, it's a powered by carbs. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's see. <laughs> It's a slice of toast with butter on it. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, let's uh, let's rock it. Let's let's keep it like that. 
Anything else? No. Good. Well then. Let's see what kind of goodies we can get for our energy. So now I ha already had a... Um, oh! I also already had a look at the engine upgrade and we are still 11 thermosap crystals short of our goal. So yeah, this is um, not good, but uh, we're, we're getting there, we're getting there. So um, upgrade wise, what can we get for our energy? We could go into expanded matter regenerator. We could also go into other stuff like the blowtorch. And I think, um, yes, we'll craft that or uh, we research that, unlock that. And what else? Um, <laughs> Olymp torch. Okay. Now, floodlight wise, I'd love to have this auto tracking spotlight. This would be huge. Huge! But yeah, maybe go for headlights, insulated headlights. Yeah. Bio headlights. They're similar in health, similar in their usage of energy. This is an electrical resistance, 50%. Blocks charged, which is quite nice. And this has no resistances, just 60 health. Huh. Well, one thing I'm thinking of is maybe go in for the all-terrain tires. Let's unlock that. And from here, okay, corrupted energy for the power grip tires. Okay, um, expansion rack wise, we are at maximum. XL roof storage. Now, there is something. Don't we have roof storage or. Oh no, we've got the roof racks. But we don't have roof storage. So, yeah, the question is do we go into roof storage or do we immediately go into expanding our trunk storage and I'm pro trunk storage because um, the side racks and everything that goes on the roof and the sides and everything it oh look at that okay yeah yeah it's it's larger definitely I like it um, Everything that's attached to our car can take damage and can even be stolen. Like we have had our um, headlights stolen by one of these pickpockets. And I assume this could also, uh, this works the same for, for example, the lightning rod or the hydro generator. So yeah, everything we can store inside our car is good. So, and we have 5.4 more energy. I'm thinking of uh, maybe going into high capacity battery. Because one can never have enough energy. And what else? Oh yeah, iron shield. A far more effective solution than a wall of lead. This field of charged particles captures and effectively neutralizes even the most energetic ionizing radiation. Power hungry but life saving. Okay. So maybe for later? An upgrade for later? The 
this comes 1.3 0.8, 1 1.4. Hmm. Anchor energy converter. Anchor energy can now be directly converted into battery power with at least a reasonable level of efficiency, boosting the car's reserves substantially. Okay. A roof battery. Well, look at that. Roof storage. We, we've expanded our storage, uh, our trunk storage for now. Mm. Let's go into armored panels and doors. So now we have. Okay, that needs corrupted energy. Just... No, this is unstable. Ah, uh, okay. We need to scan a moldy balloon anomaly. Okay. Hmm. Anticrosive doors. How about those bumpers, eh? We need... Uh we need new bumpers, at least a new rear bumper at any rate. So let's research that. And that. So now we do have a couple of more options. Insulated headlights, roof floodlights. Now, these roof floodlights, are they only in one direction? I mean, it shows both these lamps pointing in, in to the front direction? Or are they like, uh, hmm. I mean, for the dark areas, we could use uh, brighter lights. It doesn't say, unfortunately, it doesn't say anything about the output. It only says how much it consumes, how much kilowatts per second, but not, nothing about the output. These floodlights consume a lot. What? Holy moly, what, what did I do? Biohead. Okay, great. That was a misclick. I'm sorry. I did not want to. Well, now we we. Now we've got it. Okay, great. <laughs> the auto parker. I mean. Nah. Nah, we don't need that. We don't need something like the order parker. Nah. Psst. It's only for lazy people. Let's go, um, sure. Let's go with, uh, with insulated panels, blueprint. Now, what else? Yeah, sure, insulated headlights. Now we've got it all, and we've got lots to upgrade. Anything? Personal upgrades, yes. Marsh eggs, okay. Now what's better? Grip gloves. Never have an item stolen from your, your grasp ever again, thanks to this unnaturally sticky handwear. Antistatic gloves protect your hands from electrical discharges with these thick, mighty gauntlets. Well, 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 well. What happens more often? That we get st stuff stolen right out of our hands or that we get electrified? 
or electrocuted or whatever. <laughs> we are losing sometimes our um, anchor plugs right after we plug them and are running towards Betty um, when when some bollard comes out of the ground and, and um, yeah this situation has happened and we've lost um, the anchor plug at this uh, in this moment so maybe this these occurrences can be prevented as well so yeah let's go with the grip gloves okay we've got grip gloves so now upgrade wise tires let's start with the tires shall we we need carbon fiberglass we need eight carbon fiberglass thingies and for that we ne still need tree candy okay hmm Hmm, 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 hmm. At least we can craft the high capacity battery. So that's good. Hmm, right. Let's take you and put you in. Beautiful. And since we don't need you anymore, you'll go in here. Ooh, chemicals. Nope, I just wanted the plastic that fell there. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. What else? Bumper. Bumper. Now, what, what do we want to go for? Because um, I'm not intending to get rid of our limp uh, pulse emitter. But um, this thing is is done for, and so yeah, let's put you in here. Thanks. Um, so what do we want to do? Do we want to go insulated bumper, lead plated bumper, armored bumper, and also do we want to keep our limp pulse emitter uh, in the front? We, um, it's much more likely for us to bump into something while driving forward than to bump into something while driving backwards, right? So, Altimeter. Yes, select. Good. Okay. Um, I just... What the... What? Why the... What? What's going on? Why did we lose the door? What happened here? Hmm. Strange. Well, um, I first installed the limp pulse emitter uh, in the front because I thought, you know, those abductors usually attach themselves in the front. And but I guess this limp pulse emitter field that protects Betty um, when we activate it um, surrounds Betty completely. So I think it actually doesn't matter whether we put it in front or in the back. So, but, um, yeah, bumper-wise, still. What do we have here? 60 health, 60 health, 60 health. But this is impact and explosion resistant. Well, this only has radiation and electricity resistances. But it costs us thermosap crystals. Five, to be exact. Oh well. There must be another way to get uh, our hands on loads of these thermosacred crystals. 
Whoa, that's a massive, massive bumper. Like something out of the <laughs> Mad Max movie. Okay, yeah. Um, let's take these. Put you in here. Give me resources. There was something else, wasn't there? Where did it go? Hmm. Or maybe not. Okay, um, headlights. Headlights. Now, do we want to go insulated or do we want to go bio headline? Let's tell you what. Let's craft one of each and see which one is brighter. Let's, yeah, let's start with the insulated. Okay, yeah. Let's try the bio. Ooh. Is it is that brighter? I believe it is. Yes, this is more yellow. The light is more yellow than uh, the bio headlight. Yeah, let's go with the bio headlights. Heck yeah. Um, let's put you in here. Give me back my resources. Ooh, plasma. Okay, and let's craft another bio headlight. There we go. Beautiful. Now we have nice to nice bright headlights. Perfect. Okay, uh what else? What else? Oh yeah, right. The hood ain't long for this world either. So let me just check. Yeah, it shows as red. So let's take you. Thank you, but uh, your service won't be required anymore. And let's craft another lead plated panel. There we go. How's our engine doing? Doing good. Now I'm I'm still I'm still not sure if we um, should stick to the armored panel or if we should maybe go armored pl um, lead plated everywhere. So yeah, I'm not sure. But what I'm sure of is that we need some more color in our lives. Beautiful. I mean, a lilac would would be even better. Um, of a tri-color combination, but um, yeah, pink will do for now. Pink, orange, and this teal green or what, whatever this is. Looking good. Okay, anything? Yeah, we need to craft some stuff. Um, we do have two ceiling kits. Just need one more ceiling kit, I guess. 
We do have the blowtorch. Now, question is, can we craft the blowtorch in the car? And I guess not, because it's a tier 2 item. So I guess um, next chance we have is, because there is an upgrade for, no, not that. There's an upgrade for the workbench in the car. Oh yeah, here. Mobile workbench. This is a miniature workshop inside your car. You're now able to craft more complex items while on the road. So yeah, maybe next chance we get is go into the iron shield and then um, go for try to go for the mobile workbench. So, yeah, but what did I say? Ceiling kit, right? Yeah. Ceiling kit. Maybe go for a blowtorch. We need... Uh, okay, great. Well, good that I... Uh, I'm, I'm really glad that I upgraded our, our gloves and used all our marsh eggs, or most of them at any rate so but the question is do we need two medkits and and for food let's take let's keep the food on our person uh, the med medkits on our person I mean um, we can leave the Liberator in the car storage because we don't need it all the time, do we? And same goes for the for the flares. Now, um, backpack upgrade. How much would we need for the next... Yeah, we need lots and lots of swamp corals. That's these things that bloom on these pillars in the swamp. Um, yeah, so... TWS dot. <laughs> okay. Um, do we need anything else? Let's plan our route. So, we need to go here, chart the route, and once we got back, once we've charted this route, then we can, in the next... Um, step we can go here the highway to f1 and then go for f2 with oh, okay we've got anchor obfus obfuscation again battery sapping at f1 now i wonder how this works the battery sapping i mean well we'll see we'll find out so yeah Oh, and we didn't repair the... Um, yeah, let's craft some more repair putty real quick. And let's give Betty once over. Tires as well. I'm feeling generous. Ooh. Speaking of. Ah, no. We don't have anything being repaired right now. storage as well. Yeah, sure. The meter. The back door. And the hydro generator and the lightning rod. Alright, alright. 
yeah, let's just keep it on us. I mean, I bet it doesn't take long for us to need to repair something again. So, yeah, um, we are ready to go and we will do so in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, bye.